hi besties welcome back to a new video uh youtube video it's been such a long time i know this video is long overdue <laughs> but in my defense life has been life in okay so yeah welcome back to a new um, youtube video if you're new here welcome my name is Inkem. i'm a youtuber based in england and i do videos on fashion lifestyle nursing beauty what have you not anything that basically interests me interests me so yeah um i'm so sorry that i have been away from this platform for a couple of weeks um, mainly because i moved home and i haven't really sort of settled in properly to my new house i'm still trying to put the place together i'm still trying to like put together the filming room that i have and just with you know everything has been happening with work um but yeah so hopefully we are back on schedule i will be filming in my living room at the moment until i'm able to sort out my filming space um it, it was better that i you know sort of did it this way because if not i would probably keep putting off filming anything you know in the near future and i just didn't want to do that so i just wanted to like continue and just <laughs> keep going as nothing has, as if nothing has changed so yeah um without rambling any further let's get into today's video so we are starting off with a fashion video i'm going to treat this video like the first video of the year i know that it's not i think i did post um the marrakech trip it was a three-part um video because the experience was so much like all the stuff we did was it was a lot to put in one video so i had to break it down into three videos and by the time you're seeing this one you probably have that i've probably posted that one a long time ago but if you haven't seen it i'll put a link down in the description box so you can find the video um but yeah it's um we're starting with uh, a fashion video so yeah let's get into it I got some items from Nasty Girl. This is my first time buying anything from them or patronizing them. I've seen a couple of people um, show off things that they already got from them, but I've never like purchased anything from them. So this is going to be like the very first time that I'm doing so. Um, it's not like a lot of items i've gone ahead to open the bag because i wanted to cross check all the stuff that i had purchased if they were if they were complete and all of that and i've gone ahead to even try one or two of them um off prior to you know filming this video and then i reminded myself oh you wanted to use this for youtube we're going to show you guys for youtube so i put them all back and i'm going to try on everything again for you guys so you can see um, in terms of pricing, it wasn't like a very expensive purchase. A, they were quite affordable and they always had items on sale. So it depends if you're if you're a patient person and you're ready to like scour the entire website looking for things you like you you think you'd like or things that will fit you, you can do that. Um, but I don't have all this. I pretty much picked um, things that I felt like you know they were nice. I liked this. And I, this is what I'm going to wear this for. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time there. So I was very, you know, it was a very brief passing through <laughs> through the website. So yeah. In terms of the quality of fabrics, that is something we're going to discuss along this video. Um, I think I'm going to film this in such a way that just to make life a lot easier for me, I am going to talk about the fabrics and probably put in like a picture or video of me wearing that set item on the side of the screen that way you know everything is a bit more organized and it's just it makes life easy for me as well and for every other person watching it's not so it won't be like disorganized video if you know what i meant first thing that we're going to talk about is say <laughs> it's a white dress um, like a short white dress the back is open it's got some sort of elastic this is cotton this is definitely cotton um flare sleeve open back mini dress in white yeah um this is hopefully you're seeing the you're seeing me wearing this on the screen somewhere here or here but yeah 
um quality wise this is not too bad it's cutting but at the same time you know it's not as flimsy as i thought it would be i'm a bit concerned for, about the back of the dress because it's just it's just open it's just there like open and if you're the kind of person that has folds at the back i don't think this is something that you'd like to wear you'll feel very comfortable um wearing and it's quite short as well i don't have a problem with the length of the dress after all it's summer everything purchased here is for summer um yeah another thing that you know such a well it's not their fault it's mine when i got this i was still a size 16 but i've been working out i don't know if you guys have noticed i've been on my fit farm journey <laughs> if you want to hear more about it just leave me a comment and i can show you or tell you how far it's been and what i've been doing to try and lose weight but i've lost a good amount of weight i've lost nearly 10 kg i am currently back to like size 12 14 like in between 12 and 14 so obviously this is going to be too big for me now but yeah even though i would want something loose i'll probably order like a size 14 if i want this again i'll probably like go a size lower than what i already have now but other than that yeah it, it's not too bad it's cutting and you know you it's breathable most importantly so yeah that's it about this cute little number the second thing i ordered is this really gorgeous lemon green um maxi dress so the strappy tiered maxi dress in green then this is a size 12 i went a size lower in this one simply because i know that the cut is supposed to be very loose and i don't want it like too too loose but it fits i think it fits perfectly the bust area it's a bit smaller so it holds in my boobs and you know the rest of the the, the dress the rest of the body of the dress is, is not as fitted it's loose and it's comfortable this fabric looks like um, linen so again it's nice quality quality fabric so it says made with more sustainable material um, but yeah it does feel like linen and I know this from my experience as a tailor slash fashion designer um, but yeah so yeah it looks nice to be honest i think the length also works i probably style this if you guys want to have, see another video of how i will style these pieces that i have let me know in the comment section and i can like do a new video on styling all of this but i can see like a number of ways where you know how i could wear this and style it differently and i'm actually looking interested i'm looking forward to it i think it's going to be interesting the ways i think i'm going to style this the colors to pair it with and where to wear it. in fact i'm thinking of one oh i'm supposed to go um, have brunch with a friend of mine next week and this would be really really absolutely gorgeous to to wear and go on, br on brunch but yeah i'll show you guys when i do do wear them okay and that's it for this one the next thing on my list or list of things that I got is this, um, what is it called? The dye mesh sleeveless midi dress in orange. I got this in size 14. This is what it looks like. Um, this dress is absolutely gorgeous and I love the feel. It's mesh. One of the things I actually like is that it's properly lined. Like it's lined from top to bottom. Um, yeah it fits really well i love how it is it's like the entire fit on my body i love that it's very colorful spring-ish i love pink and orange it's like a sunset it's giving me sunset vibes <laughs> um yeah and I, I just it, you guys know it's mess mesh is always soft but like the feel of this and then the fabric the lining of the fabric is also very very soft and i think the lining would be 100 percent polyester yeah i'm correct excuse me the lining is 100 percent polyester this is a happy purchase for me and if i mean look at how what it looks like it's absolutely gorgeous so yeah i love it um another thing i got in fact i don't know if i was sleeping when I, I i put this in my cart is the shell toweling cover-up mini dress this is what we call benuku 
aka Benuku party dress. This is something that I can only wear maybe if I'm going to a club or like you know a night party to be very very honest. I got this in a size 14. It does fit like a glove, it's a very sexy outfit, but is this my style? No. And it's short, like I said, aka Benuku Association. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really nice on the skin it's called a toweling fabric i don't know what that means it's just like a fabric towel fabric um this is 60 percent cotton and 40 percent polyester Ooh. Uh, i don't know i'm not happy about this i don't know what i was thinking when i got this i think it just i think it looked different on on the website before i put it in my cart and i didn't realize this is what it was going to look like but yeah not really happy about this but it does look good on me to be honest so yeah now onto the black the blacks the things that are black that i got this is a one shoulder split hem midi dress and i got this in a size 16. it's um pretty much like a basic midi or maxi long dress with a slit um the fabric feels like polyester and it is 95 percent polyester and five percent elastin slash um spandex um yeah it actually looks really really nice it's a bit big on the side like to be honest it's not really their fault when i ordered this outfit i was quite big like when i got back from marrakesh i was huge like huge i'm not even joking my size was disgraceful <laughs> but then i started working out i started very slowly i don't want to digress a lot because i don't want this to be a long video but like i said if you want a video of like if you want to if you want a video of what i've been doing to lose weight my routine the passing coaching me the exercises that i've done just let me know i'll do a completely new video on that but the side boobs of this was a bit loose the outfit generally it fits well but i could tell that it you know this kind of outfits are usually nice when it's very snug on your body and very fitted but it had it had a bit of space plus the fact that it's very elastic I love the slit. Overall, is um, it's not a bad, it's not a bad purchase. It's a very casual outfit, but if you want to wear this out, you have to really, really dress it well, dress it up, accessorize to make it stand out. Because this is like a basic one-shoulder black dress, to be honest. But yeah, it's not, it's it's um, it's a six over ten kind of purchase for me. The next thing that I got is the slinky cutout detail midi skirt in black in size 14 like i said i don't know what i was thinking with this particular hole but yeah first of all this is this is see through you guys can see my face clearly from this thing forget that it's black this is lycra okay it's lycra it looks cute it, it, it will always look cute why First of all, the fabric hugs the body. Do not mind my love handles that is popping out through this. Um, but yeah, this the fabric. You people, you know what lycra. If you grew up in Nigeria and anyway in Nigeria generally, you would know what lycra is. This is lycra, and not even like the good quality type of lycra. It's like the flimsy type of lycra. If you ask me, in my opinion, this is. Uh, this is very disappointing to be honest because i feel like the fab the fabric could be better worst case scenario use the same type of fabric they used for the last one but this is ah uh, nah nah fam you guys know that meme yeah that says mm -mm, mm -mm, this about to do it. that's how i feel with this purchase not for me this is it says 97 percent polyester and three percent elastin slash spandex i you show me that this thing is lycra. Don't care what. Leave this grammar that they are speaking here. Lycra. This is minus four over ten. Okay. Forget how it looks. It's the quality that matters, and the quality is. It's not it. I'm sorry. It's. Mm -mm, it's not doing it for me. 
And I think last but not the least is ooh, this is the embroidered panel slip dress in black but i got this in size 18 oh yeah i remember why i got this in size 18 i got this in size 18 because i really loved the embroidery <laughs> i really love the embroidery detail on the, the breast but then i was looking for something that will actually cover my dress my breasts completely so i got two sizes up or three sizes up in the hopes that if i can adjust the back because i really really like this dress and i love the fit of it if i can adjust the back because the back does have elastic then this will work for me like a very simple but very nice unique you know slip dress um but yeah it was it's, it's quite it's looking quite big like from the video you see that it's looking quite big this is not what i expected but i'll make the most of it because i really really wanted this i should have gotten this in like a size 16 to be fair but their size 16 and african women's size 16 is not the same okay clearly it wouldn't have fitted my breast but because this actually does this actually just fits like perfectly you know so 16 i don't think that would have worked but yeah this is cute very big very full but i don't mind the way that the size looks i just like that you know the embroidery stuff covers my boobies that's pretty much what I cared about <laughs> with this purchase. I can't find the fabric detail. It's probably somewhere. Oh, and this actually has a lining. There's this first layer and then there's a second layer. And I think oh, I found it. And I think it just helps to give it more volume because this is like cotton-ish kind of fabric. And let me see. So it says... 100% viscous, 100% cotton. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. 100% viscous, trim, 100% cotton, lining, 100% polyester. So, yeah, the fabric of this is not really bad. It's something that once you steam, you can get away with it. Uh, yeah, I really liked this particular dress and I really, really wanted it. So, yeah um yeah that's it is it was this is a very small mini haul um but yeah i don't really i'm not really impressed with the quality of things that i got from this particular brand but i guess with fast fashion it's what to be expected and this is why a lot of people advise people not to go for fast fashion but hey with the cost of living crisis this is actually what people can afford and it's not bad to be honest if this is what you can afford this is what you can afford but i expect the company to actually do better and you know use better quality fabrics to be honest because you can't tell me that this is the best you can do especially with asker asker was gorgeous but then the fabric was was terrible but anyway i hope you loved this vlog and if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment give it a thumbs up like share subscribe to my lovely channel <laughs> join the family we're growing every day um just let me know what you think about this and what you want me to do you know the next time and i'll see you in the next one bye mm. bye besties <laughs>